Hello and welcome to Below Average Gaming, I'm your host, the Below Average Gamer. Today we are going to be doing a below average update. Not great, not fantastic, but it is below average. Um, on the last below average update I did, I just talked about videos that were coming out on the channel. This time I'm doing the exact opposite. I'm talking about videos that are already up, but not on my channel, just different channels across the internet because the internet's not that big a place, so we're able, so we're able to find things a lot easier. So let's go ahead and look. First off, we have Legendary Leah, who's known for doing a little bit more crass videos without the CR. Um, she does a lot of videos that are her in schoolgirl outfits, cat girl costumes, things like that. Maybe even just underwear sometimes. Now I know I just lost a ton of you who have closed my window saying, Why am I watching this loser when I could be watching her? Well, let me tell you why. Because a lot of her stuff has been taken down from Twitch, from YouTube, from everything. Why? Because it's breaking the rules. Breaking the rules on YouTube by saying, you know, you can't have these videos where you're showing uh, boobies or other things which we'll actually see in this video now this video that I'm posting to YouTube is gonna be heavily edited probably if I upload it somewhere else it's not gonna be quite as edited that way you can kinda of see exactly what you came to this to see I mean if you look in the tags everything that I put there is for you to come it's boobs money free tutorial how to all this stuff and other things that I don't really want to say on my channel so let's just go ahead and watch the video so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about because I'm using a television and some really shitty screens and I'm on this coffee table and it's you don't have no you have no idea. Hold on. These 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 what I'm wearing are shorts, okay? For those of you who missed it, that was an up shorts shot. We saw a little bit too much of Legendary Leah. I would say more than we wanted to see, but let's be honest, we all wanted to see. That's why you tune into her. That's why you subscribe. That's why you make sure that you're watching all the live streams. That way you don't miss any of that solid gold goodness. Now, the thing about that is, like I said, it's against the rules. The video was taken down from YouTube every time it's posted. That's why I hopped on, snatched one real quick, and saved it to maybe use for a later date. I didn't know I was going to do the below average update, but now that I am, I'm so happy that I saved this video that ended up being banned. Now, what what happened to her account because of this? Was she terminated from the account completely? Was she removed from Twitch for all of time? Was her she had to start over and get a new following? Did they remove all subscribers? No, they banned her for 30 days. 30 days! In my opinion, very much worth it. Banned for 30 days, you get what? Thousands, maybe even hundreds, maybe hundreds, maybe even thousands, maybe even hundred thousands of subscribers and even millions of views? I mean, Twitch might have to rethink what they're doing with this whole project because if you look and you say yeah it's really worth it I mean I'm getting ready to take off my pants so that I can get a million subscribers but I'm not gonna do it why because I care about you because I love you because I appreciate you as a viewer and I'm not going to subject you to those nightmares now like I said it's it sucks because you can get thousands of views millions of views by cheating the system in this way now sometimes you're able to get that just out of luck good luck bad luck who knows like in Genie T uh, fans video right down here um, as you can see the big G that's what that stands for Unity I am assuming I don't watch the channel but um, he's really good from what I've seen I started watching it after I saw this video but um, he invited a couple of friends to watch him play and do some gameplay along with him and one girl decides hey can I join too I'm a big fan he says sure and he lets her join and let's just see the comedy that ensues yeah. <laughs> This is my PP. This is my PP. This is my PP. No, what have I done? I accidentally showed my boobies on the internet. Now it's there for forever. <gasps> In this case, it was actually an accident. When they interviewed her, uh, Miss Kate Wynn, they uh, found out that what she said was, Oh no, there was a guy outside I was trying to flash because I'm a little bit drunk and I just wanted to flash him. I was preparing to take off my pants to show him the rest of my solid goodness, but it ended up being, Oh no, my camera's still rolling. Didn't realize that I was being recorded this entire time on a live stream. Oh no, now is that real? Is that fake? Who knows? But I don't think it's a good excuse. <laughs> now I'm not one to say, mm, women need to be off the internet. I'm one to say, you know, if you're on someone else's stream, you might as well have the respect and common decency to double check things like that. I mean, me personally, if I'm copying a link and sending it to someone on Minecraft, the Hello Miners channel, um, Steam, TF2, anything like that, I double check to make sure before I send it. And I think the same thing should be said for her online um, shenanigans. Both of them. 
you know, make sure that when you're posting something to the internet, you double check, triple check, quadruple check, check it as that many times as you can, thousands, hundreds, billions of times before you post it, because that's on the internet, and the internet is five ever. That's longer than forever, for those of you who don't know meme speak. But the question is here, is it worth it? Yeah, Genie T got millions of views. He got dozens of subscribers, donators, everything because of this, and he just happened to get lucky. <laughs> In the good way, and the bad way. Who knows? I mean, yes, his project might have been taken down, but the good news is, if you watch the continuation of the video, him and his friends are saying, you know, we gotta take down the video, we gotta remove the video because of that. We can't keep it up. Smart idea. Because even if it's not true and it was planned, I'm not saying it is. You know, Twitch is gonna see that and say, yeah, you know, uh, whatever, you know, you kinda did your best. Whereas with Legendary Leah, boom, you're gone. Terminated. Forever. 30 days. But the internet is quickly becoming this place, and I think Twitch streamers are beginning to see this. We see more and more cam girls popping up with Twitch saying like, Oh yeah, you can watch me play video games, and maybe I'll even pause the video like Legendary Leah does, so you can see me do other things too while the game's loading or whatever. Look, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. It's a fantastic idea! It's gonna get you dozens of people on your channel. But at what cost? 30 whole days. 30 days unable to stream. 30 days where you have to find something else to do while the subscribers come pouring in. And with Twitch, where you can actually make money, that 30 days that you're gone and showing one flash of up short is worth hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. And you're hearing the words hundreds, thousands, and millions a lot. Yeah, because that's what happens. So this is the below average update. That's what happens. I just wanted to do a little thing, my thoughts on that, that Twitch, you know, a 30 day ban for this, if you really want people to take you seriously with your rules, bump it up. Remove their channel, remove their subscription, remove everything if you want, if you want to make this more serious, like YouTube does, go ahead and do it. That's why I said I'm going to have to heavily edit these videos, because if I'm going to be posting them to YouTube, I have to make sure that it doesn't get removed. How am I going to edit that? I don't know yet. I don't have the best editing software. We'll figure that out later. Thank you for watching the Below Average Update. Do want to say thank you to Captain Goodnight, who did a Worms uh, Let's Play with me on our channel. He sent me this. TF2 mouse pad. I love it. I'm actually going to use it right now. I wanted to wait. So I'm going to move my phone, put that there. <gasps> my mouse has a new home. Look at that. I play as Pyro because I'm a horrible shot. Um, yeah, if you want to see me play a game or you want to send me cool stuff, get in touch. Um, go ahead and down here on the comments, write a game that you want to see me play. I'm not good at video games, so you're going to watch me suck horribly. Um, but yeah, I got this thing from him. I did a lot of Let's Plays. I did some with Z-Man. I'm actually doing another Z uh, episode with Z-Man of Unturned coming soon. Those are all on my channel. So like, comment, and subscribe to get the latest news on that. I also did uh, a Dreamcast for the Justice League. I think I did a pretty decent job. I talked to Michael from the podcast. He says, you know, he kind of agrees with most of it. The only one he doesn't really agree with uh, was Ryan Reynolds. What do you think? Ryan Reynolds back in action on the DC Universe as Booster Gold? Or no, he's already had his chance. We can't risk it again. Let me know, comment, uh, like, and subscribe. I appreciate you. You the best. And bye.